if you could please leave quietly because we're going to continue with our meeting. All right, Matt. All right, this is two requests by the same applicant for the same property. The first one is a rezoning request. The applicant is Travis Carter. It is to rezone 3.56 acres from RP to OP. Um, the property is located at 3905 in the Perma Road. This is at the northwest corner of Chadwick Drive and in a perimeter. It is basically the west side of the entrance into Chadwick Drive's neighborhood. Um, subject property is currently vacant. It was cleared, ready for development when the neighborhood was built uh, a little more than 20 years ago. It has been vacant all these many years. Um, the applicant is proposing a commercial sized daycare center that is not an allowed use in RP zoning, but it is an allowable use in OP zoning with conditional use approval. That is the second agenda item that goes with this. But from a zoning perspective, the next map is the character areas. This is the neighborhood activity center along the perimeter road. As we talked about at the work session, this particular stretch of inner perimeter is not as intensively zoned or as intensively developed as areas to the west, particularly west of Bemis Road. The pattern here is dominated more by residential, uh, both zoning and land use also offices and maybe some light commercial. So the RPOP zoning mix seems to fit very well. As you know, the main difference between RP and OP is RP allows apartments, OP does not, but OP allows a few more intensive things such as a bank. Uh, one of the benefits of OP zoning is when it is next to a residential area like Chadwick Place, it actually requires a larger buffer yard and greater building setback in the rear yard. Um, so RP going to OP is the request. Um, the next map shows the area imagery of the lot and see the detention ponds. Um, there is a long flooding history concerns with this entrance area Chatter Place. That is a concern regardless of what gets developed here. Even as RP zoning, it's eligible for development. And that is something that would be addressed by engineers during the plan review process. And this request certainly would be no exception. Uh, next photos, show some photos. This is the view from in from the road, clear, vacant field. Uh, the next one is the view from Chadwick Drive looking west. This is looking through that area between the two ponds that are there. And then beyond that, this is the vacant land across the street to the south on the perimeter. And then a view looking up into the neighborhood from where I took the earlier pictures. So in terms of the rezoning, staff is finding that request consistent with the conference of plan, our standards for exercise of zoning power, which are there in your packet, and we are recommending approval of the rezone. All right. Thank you, Matt. Do the commissioners have questions? If not, I will call for those. Any of those wishing to speak on behalf of this request, please come forward. If you're here to speak on behalf of the request, please come forward. Please state your name and address, please. Travis Carter, 3922 Carolina Circle, Carolina with a K. All right, Mr. Carter. Yeah, um, me and my wife, we own two big care facilities, which we are uh, rent. We have outgrown both of those facilities. We, my wife been in the business. She was in the business for like seven years before we rented out our home. We've been in our own business for five and a half years. And um, we need a bigger facility, and we plan on expanding. So we have one facility, so all our kids go to one place, and we're turning around kids left and right. You know, we create plenty of jobs for the community. We, we provide quality rate service for our, our parents. Our kids love us, and I really appreciate how approved. All right, thank you. Do we have questions for our speaker? Yeah. I do. Go ahead. Uh, Mr. Carr, just curious. Uh, Another mass is this commercial side thing here. You have any idea about how many children will be there? Um, we're trying to um, have a facility to at least hold between 130 to 150 kids, mm -hmm. but that's the question. So, what I Yeah, that's including our, um, like our summer camp and our before and after school mm -hmm. kids. So, we want to have enough space for that. Okay. <laughs> Any other questions for our speaker? All right. Thank you all very much. Thank you.
Bless your heart. <laughs> 150 kids. Wow. Every other kid. <laughs> All right, is there anybody else here tonight who wishes to speak on behalf of this request? If not, is there anyone tonight who wishes to speak against the request? Please come forward. If you're here to speak against the request, please come forward. If not, I'll return it back to the commissioners for any further discussion. And if there is no discussion, I'll call for a motion. Madam Chair. Commissioner Bailey. On um, our case, we're looking at VA 2020-02. The case in which we want to turn 3.5 acres from residential professional to office professional. I make a recommendation that we call staff guidelines for approval. All righty. Second. Second. All right. Have a second. And a third. And third. All right. We have a motion for approval. Is there any discussion on the motion? If not, all those in favor of the motion to approve? All right. Any against? All right. Motion carries unanimously. Thank you. And good luck and congratulations to you all. Go get